Good morning, class. I hope you're doing great today. Are you ready to learn some science ideas? That's great. Today, we are going to talk about conductors of heat and electricity. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to identify materials that are good conductors of heat and electricity. Discuss why some materials are good conductors of heat and electricity. And practice safety at home in dealing with heat and electricity. Let us recapitulate what we have discussed in our previous discussion. Motion is a change of an object's position as caused by force. Reference point is a fixed place for an object used to determine the position of an object. Distance is the measure of how far or near two points from one another. Distance is measured using measuring tools such as ruler, tape measure, measuring wheel, and ultrasonic distance measure. Meter is the standard unit of measurement used for distance or length. Speed is the measure of how fast or slow an object is moving. Now, I want you to answer this activity using a piece of paper. A train traveled 15 kilometers from the train station in 2 hours. What is the speed of the train? Given the distance of 24 kilometers and the time of 3 hours, let us calculate the speed. Speed is equal to distance over time. So let us substitute. Speed now is equal to 24 kilometers over 3 hours. So let us divide 24 by 3. Speed now is equal to 8 kilometers per hour. Awesome! You are doing great. It means that you are more ready for our next lesson. In this lesson, we will be able to answer the following questions. What is conductors? What is an insulators? What are the examples of materials that are good conductors of heat and electricity? What are the examples of materials that are non-conductors of heat and electricity? Conductors are materials that allow heat and electricity to flow freely through them, allowing electricity and heat to be transferred from the source through them. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. Copper and aluminum are metals. Stainless steel is an iron-based metal with chromium. Cooking pots and pans made of metals make cooking faster because they quickly allow heat transfer from the flame to the food being cooked. Iron, gold, silver, brass, steel, copper, nickel, and water are also conductors of heat and electricity. Insulators are materials that do not allow heat and electricity to pass through them. Materials that are made of plastic, silk, leather, glass, oil, and rubber are examples of insulators. We already know the examples of materials that are good conductors of both heat and electricity. Now, let us have the basic safety practices when dealing with heat and electricity at home. Use oven mitts in baking and a pot holder in hot cooking pots and pans when cooking. Never overload your electrical outlets. Unplug home appliances when not in use. Keep electrical outlets and equipments away from water. Replace or repair damaged electrical wire. 
And for the children, never put metals or your fingers in an electrical outlet. Let's explore. I want you to do these experimental activities. Kindly use short bond paper to record your observations. Let me remind you to be careful. You may ask an adult to assist or supervise you in these activities. Good job! You can pass your recorded observations to your teacher advisor. Now let's check how much have you learned from our lesson today. I want you to answer the given questions using a one whole sheet of paper. And if you are done, you can also pass this work to your teacher advisor. Now, let us summarize what we have discussed in this lesson. Conductors are materials that allow heat and electricity to pass through them. Insulators are materials that do not allow heat and electricity to pass through them. The conductivity of materials depend on their composition. Metals are good conductors while nonmetals are insulators. I believe you learned something from our discussion today. Thank you for watching. See you soon in our next video lesson.